in the mining industry, especially over the past couple of years, uh, I've seen a real change with regards to mining equipment underground. At Nickel Rim South, we've brought in a scoop tram that can run by itself on autonomous. When we first started taking a look at automation within our mobile fleet, there was a lot of benefits that became apparent right away. A typical uh, mucker who would operate an LHD, which is a load haul dump machine, would potentially muck up to 80 to 100 times uh, a shift. So he'd be getting on and off that piece of equipment 80 to 100 times. That means that he has to buckle and unbuckle his seatbelt that many times. He has to swing out of the compartment. So there's potential to roll over on his ankle as he's getting out of the machine, climbing up onto a remote stand, and then driving the machine into the open stove. Autonomous takes all of that risk away. So now that operator can sit in an air-conditioned office he can operate the scoop autonomously, doesn't have to get on and off the scoop that number of times, and the scoop actually drives itself. I've been here for nine years. I'm a blast hole miner, so mucking, loading, blasting. It's a lot safer to muck autonomously, so it makes for a safer job and safer conditions. Temperature is underground, gets pretty warm, so mucking from surface would take you away from the heat and you're not exposed to dust. So when we first started looking at the autonomous product, there actually was a lot of autonomous machinery out there in the world. Some of the other Glencore sites that are already using autonomous include Metogamy Mine. So we did have a lot of contact with Metogamy. We also contacted Kid Mine and we really got a sense of how they were using autonomous and why they were using it. And it helped us steer towards which product we ultimately chose. Nickel Rim has a long history of testing new systems, new equipment, new technologies. So the LHD automation is a combination of a barrier system installed on the level. It's a onboard camera and control system as well as the operator station. That operator station located either underground or on surface. Those three elements come together to allow an operator to effectively control the machine from a distance to muck in the areas that the barrier system is barricading. So at the start of the ship, I set up the scoop for autonomous, set up all the safety barriers. There's a cable that if the scoop accidentally goes out of control, hits this cable, it's going to shut off the system. And also there's a laser barrier, so if ever anybody crosses that laser barrier, it shuts the system down. And there's just an actual physical barrier that people would actually see first and say, okay, I'm not allowed back there. Once the system's armed, either come up to surface or underground has controls for the autonomous go there, start up the program, get a link with the scoop and start mucking. When we go autonomous, we're seeing the scoop in two cameras, front camera and rear camera, and you're going to see a map of the whole level, where the rock breaker is, where your ore passes are, and they're all pinpointed. The scoop will drive itself to the ore pass, dumps the bucket, and actually drives right back to your draw point. You just watch in the monitor, make sure nothing comes up in front of you, so you can stop it. There's ongoing training. There's going to be different ways they're going to use it, either during shift, cross shift to maximize hours, if they're going to use it when there are seismic activity where people aren't allowed in certain areas, but the machine can be deployed. So they're really learning the ins and outs of when best to use the machine. The safety aspect of these machines and the installation is that the mines want to keep operators away from the face. That is the dangerous location where there's unprotected ground. Having an autonomous system keeps the operator in a safe, comfy location on surface. And we've had feedback from some operators where they're not exhausted by the end of the day. And over the past number of years, with Lencore's introduction of the Fatal Hazard Program, the Safe Work Program, the Safety Leadership Program for our supervisors, everybody recognizes that we have a life to go to outside of work. So the culture in safety has changed to the point where now, stop and correct is the words that are used when encountering a safety issue underground. So when we talk about uh, my personal involvement with health and safety is I won't accept any standard that puts anybody at risk.